So today's tapping is on easy. What if this was easy? And there's a couple of uh, reasons why I wanted to do a little video on this is because um, usually we don't think it's easy. I shared in this story how um, years ago, my husband and I met up with another couple that we knew and the man, he just looked fabulous. Like he used to be kind of a normal middle-aged, you know, had some extra weight around him. And he just looked like a teenager, like sleek and fit. Like, and I always, I'm always curious how people um, do that. So I said, how'd you do it? And he said, I started running and it was easy. I said, how'd you lose weight? I started running and it was easy. And it, it was almost just like a little slap in the face because I guess from a history of this, um, I, I would have just never ever associate like losing weight with easy. <laughs> like in my mind, they don't go together, which is the whole purpose. Like our mind, our subconscious is the controller. That's why I have this picture, the iceberg up here our programming controls it. So if we have in there that it's not easy, then probably won't be easy. And there could be any number of things that could make it easy. Um, but I also wanted to share another, um, a, a good way to measure. So usually before we tap, we get a measurement. Um, so actually I'm gonna share a different picture. Hold on on my screen. Um, this is something developed by uh, or started by Sylvia Hartman. And she does this scale instead of zero to 10. So if we think about um, easy, I think this is a good scale to use. So like if it's really, really, really hard, it's down here, like at minus 10 is like impossible. No, it is not easy. This is hard. This is impossible. And plus 10 would be like, oh yeah, it's easy. It, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. There's no resistance. So before you start on this day, I would get a, I would get a, I would just kind of ask inside um, how, how possible, I guess it would be, how possible does it feel for this process, whatever you want for your goal to have a happy body, how process, how possible would this be easy, that it would be easy. So I'm getting about down here at a minus four, um, which is good because before this, when I felt a lot of resistance, it could have felt like, you know, like in my mind, I would go, I know it could be easy, but it really doesn't feel easy. Now I'm kind of like minus three, minus four. So it feels um, better, but it's still, it doesn't feel like it's going to be easy. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that picture, but I think that's a good um, thing to know because usually in tapping, it's just zero to 10. And really what we want to do is we want to get out of these negatives and we want it to be up to, wow, it does feel like it could be easy. Okay, so let me go back to the other image. Okay, so, and then we just start tapping and kind of experimenting. So even though this doesn't feel that easy to me now, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though this doesn't feel like it's easy, maybe it feels impossible, or whatever word comes up in your mind, maybe it feels unlikely to be easy. Um, I'm choosing to open up some neural pathways and I'm choosing to open my programming. Even though I have this not easy programming, I'd love to open up the not easy programming and install some easy programming, even if I don't know how. Remember that little tidbit, even if I don't know how. And let's go ahead and before we go to the 
maybe it could be easy. Let's, I'm feeling the need to tap on some of the resistance first. It doesn't feel easy, even though we did this yesterday with the hard. It's different words, right? Doesn't feel easy. I'd love for it to be easy. I don't believe it could be easy. Maybe it was easy for the runner. I'm not a runner. It's hard to believe it could be easy. It's hard to believe it could be easy. But I'm opening my programming. It would be great if it was easy. It would take so much stress off my life. Maybe it'll be easy since I'm tapping. Maybe it'll be easy since I'm learning how to reprogram it myself. Maybe it'll be easy if I start a new habit. And now I'm just going to tap around the points. And I would even suggest coming up with like 20 or 30 ways it could be easy, even if you're not going to do them. We're not committing to them. I started running and it was easy. I started a dance class and it was easy. I started making soup and it was easy. I started tracking my food and it was easy. I found this cool, fun little calorie counter app and it was easy. I stopped counting calories and it was easy. I started eating vegan, vegan and it was easy. I started eating low carb and it was easy. I cut out sugar and it was easy. I just decided that I cared about myself and I was gonna make this life change and it was easy. I decided to do this with my friend and it was easy. I entered a contest and it was easy. I started having a green smoothie every day and it was easy. I took up intermittent fasting and it was easy. I stopped thinking about food and it was easy. I started really loving myself and it was easy. I started finding other ways to calm my emotions and it was easy. I cleared my heart wall and it was easy. I separated from my parents' feelings about food and it was easy. Just trying to think of any other people's situations that I've heard of. Oh, I, I started doing self-hypnosis uh, YouTube videos at night and it was easy. I cleared my baggage and it was easy. So many possible wonderful ways for it to be easy. And I love giving my subconscious the directions that it could be easy. I choose to be surprised and delighted by how easy this whole process is, even if I don't know how. And I recognize how many things are already easy in my body. Healing a paper cut is easy. Breathing for most of us, thankfully, is easy. Digesting our food is easy. My body is made for harmony and health. And I easily align to my natural, perfect patterns. And I am grateful, grateful, grateful. So that's just an example. You could think of other easier things. And now let's go back to the minus 10 to plus 10 scale. How easy does it feel, minus 10 to plus 10, to easily come to my happy weight or whatever it is that you want? 
and then just tune in. Whatever you get, it's fine. If it didn't change, if it's a little better, if it's a little worse. I, I actually feel like I crossed the zero point. I feel like it's probably up to like maybe a plus three now. Like I'm not plus 10, <laughs> but it really feels like it could be easy. Like I just basically have to make the decision and do it. So I hope that helps you and just thought I'd share.